Hey everybody, how's it going? I just got home. I picked up another power saw for the upcoming year. <coughs> Excuse me. Friends, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Until this summer, right here, I never owned a 372. Never, never got my hands on one. They are super hard to find here. Guys that have them, they no, I'm not selling that 372. Lots of guys have them here. Nobody sells them. And when they do come for sale, um, they're expensive and they go like that. So part of the upcoming year, I want to do modern saws. Now, this is an outdated saw now. I happen to think that these are probably one of the most significant power saws ever, ever introduced into the industry. You know, if you were running this back in the day move this over you were running this 044 um these are great saws my 044 has been down i gotta go get to a still dealer um i don't know if you could still buy carbs for these this carb on this thing it goes pig rich and it won't lean out this is an original 044 arctic it used to be my primary bucking falling saw this saw has eaten a ton of wood this is my 562 and this 266 are the three saws that I put the most miles on. But anyways, if you weren't running this, you are running that. It was one or the other back in the day. I talk to fallers all the time that are like, oh yeah, when the, when the 44 still came out, that's what I was running. Or when the 371, 372 came out, I bought one and I ran those forever. A lot of guys are still running these. So part of this summer is... I want to do some some modern saws so I picked up this saw today my good buddy uh, he's a great friend of the channel good friend of me he's just a just a super likable guy honest as the day is long he had this saw he knew I was looking for one he made me a real fair deal on it um, <clears throat> this thing runs it's minty he's gone through it um, it's a 372 original edition. I'm super happy to have this saw on my bench. Um, it's super nice. Let's have a look at this saw. And then let's talk about my plans for 372s this year. I'm going to I'm gonna do some 372 builds. We'll get to that. But let's get up close. Up close and personal with the 372. Okay. What do we have here? It's a 372 uh 2005 model looks like so not a new one not an old one just kind of right in the middle um 371 came out in help me here folks 98 97 they made that for a couple years had a single ring piston um they were having some problems with crankcases with long bars so they came out with a 372 uh 372 is 72 cc's for those of you that have never seen one of these um, 36 mil stroke, 50 mil bore, just like the old 44. Um, <clears> old <throat> 44 and these, I like them both. Um, they make good power. Anyhow, he sold me this saw today. It still has the sticker on it. This thing's pretty clean. Looks like it was an ex government saw. Uh, it's got some uh, model numbers on it or whatever. Look at the muffler. Like, even the muffler's clean on this thing. Just a nice, clean, presentable 372. It has the miscolored rear handle. That's super common with these. Some people say the ones with the miscolored handles run better. I've heard guys say that. I don't know. Um, anyhow, to my buddy, you know who you are. Thank you. Uh, he's a huge support to this channel. And uh, we're going to have to do something for him one of these days. I think I have the perfect saw to build for him. He's a firewood cutter. He likes light and angry. I think we could figure out a light and angry saw for him. So anyhow, I'm super happy with this. Um, I'm probably, he was even saying, the guy's so honest. He's like, the back's cracked. I glued it. And it's like, that's okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I'm probably going to low top this. I like a low top saw. Um, I like it when you're filing and this is in your chest. Not a fan of that. Um, I have a wrap bar to put on this saw and uh, some Westy Coasty dogs. This thing's complete. It's all OEM except for it has a new crank. What kind of crank's in it? It has a Farmer Tech crank. Um, 
So I may end up changing that crank. You guys know I, I don't I don't enjoy a farmer tech crank. Some people have had good experience with them. My problem is I'm I'm sending saws across the country, across the continent. Um I have a hard time doing that with saws or with parts that I don't trust. And again, it's just my opinion. So I may see if I can source an OEM crank for this or something like that. But this is a super, super nice saw. I'm gonna grab fucking <laughs> the nice fella he is. He brought me this 372 this summer because I'd never had one. And you know, friends help each other out. And uh, he's like, hey man, I got a nice clean 372. It's original. Um, same thing. This one is missing the tag. I don't know what year it is. It's probably a newer one would be my guess. It's clean, original. I put a wrap on it. Um, same thing. It's minty inside. This one's all OEM as far as I know. So um, let the games begin. Now let's talk about my plans. And now there's one more saw on my shelf. It's not a 372, but it kind of is. I bought this 365 X Torque. Okay, I bought this 365 X Torque, which is nothing more than a 372 X Torque with different transfer caps. So I also have this. I bought this off a of local. This saw is like brand new, no marks on it. Um, and then I also picked up this John Thread 2165 Turbo. You guys have seen this run on video. If not, go back about a month ago. Uh, I noodled up some firewood with this thing. These things don't uh, don't underestimate the 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 65 cc version of this chassis. This is a 48 mil bore. These are 50. Same with, with this. Uh, the 365, 2065, and 2165 are monsters for the size they are. And to be honest, oh, this top cover is loose. Really loose. To be honest, for the average guy, my opinion, and again, it's just my opinion, the 365 and 2165 make a better power curve. They make a broader spread of power. They have smaller transfers, a little bit shorter blowdown, stuff like that. They make a broader spread of, spread of power that I think the average cutter is going to enjoy more. These are easier to run. They're not as peaky as these. For the experienced guy, they want that power up top usually, and they want oomph and speed. That's where you're going to get. This 365 X Torque, I ran it a bit. Um, I got to take the limiters off the curb. It's all gummed up. It, it's a little lean for my liking. Um, I don't run saws with, with uh, restrictors on the carburetors. I just find here, especially in winter, uh, they're lean. So... What are my plans this year? Well, you guys that have been watching the channel know probably I run a ported 365 special. It was the first saw I ever ported on this channel. I've been running that saw for years. That's one of my primary saws. Um, I didn't run it as much this summer because I was doing other things, but you guys know that saw has been with me a long time. That was That's a special saw because it was the first time I ported on this channel. Um, that was the first saw I ever ported with a timing wheel. I was porting before, but not with a timing wheel. So <clears throat> that saw rips, um, high exhaust roof, uh, medium blowdown on that saw, decent intake timing. If I, if I did that saw again, I would probably lower the exhaust roof. I kind of want to go back into it and see if I can drop the cylinder a little bit and bring that exhaust roof. I think that saw is running like a 99 exhaust roof, pretty high for a 48 mil, um, 48 mil bore. It still pulls good, but it could be a little grunt here. So coming up on the channel, friends, we're gonna do some 372 content. I've never ported a 372 and I know that's funny, but I port what I've come across. Um, the main thing is, my goal, Bucket runs 372s pretty much. If he's doing work, he's running a 372. Um, he does run the vintage saws, and he runs quite a few of my vintage saws now, but I want to build him a 372 uh, to ride along with his Iron Horse 371 that he loves so much. I ran that saw when it was here. 
Um, what a pleasure. That saw is angry. I don't know what Harvey done to that. I like I like to keep the secrets. Um, I won't. The saws that I've run of his, I ran his 266 and his 371. It's fun to not know what he done to it. Um, but I'm going to take my own crack at porting 372s. I had really good success with my 365 back in the day. So this is a 365 in John Sered colors. I would like to port this. Definitely thinking about doing that. Um, keep it torquey, but give it a little more airflow, a little more fuel. Uh, maybe widen the exhaust port slightly. Probably not raise it much at all. And then these two. My thoughts are I'm going to port one of these 372s for me. And I'm going to port one for Bucket. And what I might actually do. Because this one's so nice. It needs a kill switch and a couple of other things. <laughs> I might split this thing. Start from scratch with it. And send this thing back to Bucket. And see if he likes it. Now. I don't know. I don't know which way I'm actually going to go though, whether I'm going to put a 52 mil highway big bore on this saw or port it as a 50 mil. I kind of think I'm going to go 52 mil big bore for Bakken because he's running a 32. He needs that extra grunt, that extra power that you get with more displacement. So we could do four builds on this table. I can do a 48 mil 365 top end or 2165 top end. I can do a 50 mil uh, original cylinder for me. And again, we can put a 268 pop-up piston in this. Light piston, do some machine work, or none, depending on how I decide to go. I don't always machine saws. Port the snot out of that. We can do a 52 millimeter big bore with this saw. Okay, put a highway top end on it and make that rock and roll. And then we can port an X-Torque. This is an X-Torque saw. Maybe I take a crack at porting one of them modern whiz-bang saws. And if I don't like it, I can convert this to a 372 original edition quite easily. Uh, you can put a 372 original top end on this saw and run the rest of the X-Torque parts. Now there are some differences. The chain brake handle is taller, the top cover is taller. Um, there are some differences in the cases, but you can convert these back to the old saw. Um, you could convert a new saw to the X-Torque, but I don't think you'd really want to do that. Um, the top end doesn't quite fit. You'd have to do some grinding, I believe, on the cases and that. So, Anyhow, friends, this year is going to be a lot of fun. I still have vintage saws I want to do. There's a few saws actually hanging over my head that I've had for the last year or two. That vintage stuff, cool old school reed saws that I still want to port, but... Because I've left the old saws out for so long, and I want a couple more saws on this chassis to ride around in my truck. I really enjoy running this chassis. They have good anti-vibe, they're not too heavy, and you can make these things rip. A ported 372 or 365 is, I don't know, it's about as good as it gets for me. Um, they rev up so quickly, they're so smooth, and they make a lot of power, so... Coming up surely, shortly, we're going to be running 372s on this channel. We're going to dive right into it. I know a lot of people have done 372s, but I know a lot of you guys would like to see me do some modern sauce. Also, because I'm interested in this stuff, I want to add this into the mix. Now, my opinion of this Dolmar 7300 piped stock, it's kind of wincy, piped. I think this thing will cut a 372. We might have to figure that out, but I'm also going to be porting this saw. Um, not sure if I can find a full wrap for it, but I'd like to port this saw in the near future because um, I really enjoy it. That Dolmar is a great saw. You Dolmar guys have been telling me for years, you got to get a Dolmar on that chassis. I think they make like a 6400 like a smaller 60cc version. They make the 7300, 7310. I think there's a 7900 and a 7910. Well, I happen to find a 7300. And uh, I really, really like that saw. It's it's different than a Husky or still, but it runs. And uh, it runs in a good way. So, anyhow, friends, thank you for your support. Your support is what allows me to pick this stuff up for the channel. 
you know, and of course a buddy donating this. These are so hard to find here. Nobody sells their 372s in this area. Guys that have them will not get rid of them. I've tried. And if you see them for sale, they just, they're super expensive and they're gone. So um, I would buy a couple more or grab a couple more if I could find them. But anyhow, friends, I'm really excited for this year. Um, it was actually a cool day today. Well, we took my daughter or our daughter, Charlie, uh, to the pediatrician. She got some more shots and uh, she didn't cry. Even the doctor was like, that's rare. Um, my little girl's going to be strong. I was so proud of her. You know, four months old and didn't cry getting a couple of needles. So I was pretty proud. <laughs> I know when you when you have a kid, you're just proud of the little things, eh? It, uh, I don't know, being a dad. If you're on the fence about having children, I was, friends. Uh, I wasn't sure about it. I'm not going to lie. Um, the minute I found out we were pregnant, like, it just changed my whole mindset. And you know what? Having a child is the greatest, I mean, greatest thing ever. Um, it gives me a whole new purpose to life. Uh, when I see her in the morning sleeping in her little bassinet, I just, I don't know, my heart flutters. When I get home after work and I come into the, wherever she is and she sees me, that big smile. I don't know, friends. That's, uh, that's the greatest thing ever. I hope, I hope if you want to, you get to experience it too, because I get it now. Having children is the greatest thing in the world. Nothing I've ever done in my life comes even close to having that little girl. Nothing. And I've done many things in my life. Um, but this is the best. Anyhow, friends, I won't keep rambling. We're going to do modern saws this year. Uh, 372s, a plenty, and various other saws. 576s, 562s. I think we're going to be doing a 461 still. Um, whenever that happens, we'll do that on the channel, as well as vintage saws. I still got about 17 more 266s I want to try building. I still, friends, believe it or not, I haven't rung a 266's neck yet. Um, I think the next one I build is going to be a neck ringer. I'm going to go all out on it. And uh, I've already started the machine work and porting. I want to see how much anger I can get out of one of those. I have blown them up before searching for anger, but uh, time apart makes the heart grow fonder. So I'm ready to do another one. If I pop a bearing again, so be it. We'll do it on the channel. Anyhow, friends, thank you for your support. It's so cool to have these four power saws. They've all been added to the channel in the last six months or a year. And uh, we will start doing 372s and the, the 372 chassis as soon as I can fit them in. Thanks for watching. Take her easy. Later.